Countless men over the centuries have left the safety of the land and went to sea. There are many perils out there, many dangers that sailors have long been aware of, and one of these is Mother Carrie. Mother Carrie is a mysterious supernatural figure in the folklore of the sea. Some believe her to be a sentient being, a figure that can think and act, while others believe her to be a personification of the cruel and threatening sea. Perhaps the truth lies somewhere in between. In this sense, she's very similar in nature to Davy Jones, who is often regarded as her husband. In John Maysfield's 1902 collection of saltwater ballads, his poem, Mother Carrie, as told to me by the bosun, describes her and Jones together as a couple responsible for shipwrecks. Mother Carrie brings the storm and sends the poor sailors down to her husband on the ocean floor. In a similar way that the sirens of Greek mythology lure sailors to their doom, Mother Carrie likewise calls upon sailors in the hope of sinking their ships and plunging the poor souls into the dark depths of the ocean. She also calls upon old sailors to return to the sea. The men that spent a lifetime on board ships and now back on land always feel a pull towards the ocean again. She's been described as a witch by some and by others a spirit or even a goddess. Now closely linked to the lore of Mother Carrie is the Storm Petrel, the small square-tailed bird. As the name suggests, Storm Petrels were associated with tempests and terrible weather at sea, and sailors spotting these birds would see them as a bad omen. Some believed they caused the bad weather, while others believed they were just a warning sign of it. It was often thought too that the number of petrels was a good indication of the severity of the oncoming storm. In rough seas, the birds were known to hover under ship sterns in the smoother water, where they just pat the ocean with their feet, almost like they're walking on the water. And these birds, they were referred to by sailors as Mother Carrie's chickens. When Mother Carrie was enraged and the seas were wild and stormy, the birds accompanied her and were sighted by men at sea amongst the tempest. Now there was a variety of beliefs regarding what became of sailors that died at sea. There was one belief in Fiddler's Green, where sailors would go to a land of music and merriment. And then of course, there was the belief in Davy Jones' locker, the dark unknown depths of the ocean. And then there was also another belief, which involves Mother Carrie's chickens. Many sailors believe that men that died at sea returned to this world in the form of storm petrels. So in this sense, the emergence of the birds at sea was in fact a warning from old sailors to those currently at sea that a storm was coming, or rather, Mother Carey was coming. Whenever a sailor died at sea, Mother Carey allows for a storm petrel to be born. Those that perished at sea were still looking out for others, so that they may hopefully avoid a similar fate. And this was taken seriously by men at sea. It was very bad luck to kill a storm petrel, and some thought that the death of one of these birds meant there'd soon be a death among the living, most likely the sailor that killed the bird. The birds contained the very souls of sailors, so killing one in the eyes of many was akin to killing a member of the crew. Mother Carey's presence causing a storm would perhaps make people see her as malevolent, but she's accompanied by her birds, her chickens, which, while our bad luck to see, were in some way a comfort, showing sailors that their old shipmates are still looking out for them. While the lore of Davy Jones has remained strong to this day, Mother Carey is relatively unknown. There have been a few poems about her, or referencing her, such as Rudyard Kipling's Anchor Song, and a poem by C. Fox Smith, which I'm going to play a musical version of at the end. She's also mentioned in Moby Dick, when Captain Ahab compares the sparks coming off Mr. Perth the blacksmith's hammer to Mother Carey's chickens. There's only one very recent reference to Mother Carey that I can think of, and that's in 
the second Pirates of the Caribbean film, when one of the crew of the Edinburgh trader, the merchant ship, exclaims, Mother carries chickens, as the ship is rocked once the Kraken begins to take it down. So there we have it. Not many people know Davy Jones had a wife, albeit a much lesser known figure. She's very mysterious, much like the sea itself. So is this just an old sailor's superstition? Or is there some greater truth to it? As light I went a walking, a walking by the sea. I thought I heard men talking, I heard them call to me. Oh, sorrow, take the city streets, the weary city stones. Tis time for you to leave them while the strength is in your bones. Ah, shaker and waker, Johnny, there's a ship for you. Lying in the royal roads, waiting for a crew. And every brace and backstay is singing soft and low. Mother Carey wants us and we're all bound to go. Yes, we're all bound to go, Johnny, all bound to go. If it's late or early, lad, if you will or no. Sure as sun do rise, Johnny, sure as ties do flow. When Mother Carey wants us and we're all bound to go. As late I went a walking, a walking by the shore. A thought of ports I'd like to see I hadn't seen before. Across the strait the lighthouse kept winking fine and free to show me where the road is that leads to open sea. A shaker and waker, Johnny, under there she rides, lying in the royal road, swinging at the tides. Singing to the muttering tides that past the cables flow. Mother Carey wants us and we're all bound to go. Yes, we're all bound to go, Johnny, all bound to go. If it's late or early, lad, if you will or no. Sure as sun do rise, Johnny, sure as tides do flow. When Mother Carey wants us and we're all bound to go.